What's up everyone? This is Chill Sense. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been long, but I have a good reason for that. I have as you can tell I'm back in my house I'm back in India. I was in the US, I was working, but uh, my working thing like my student visa slash OPD expired and I couldn't find a job that sponsors me. So it was a huge mess and now I'm back and I'll hopefully be con uploading a lot more, a lot more consistently. So we'll, we can talk about that in another video if you want to know any updates, personal, my former personal life. But anyway, since I'm uploading after a long time, I thought why not talk about a fragrance that's on every um, fragrance influencer's mouth right now. I don't know, I, that sounds kind of weird. But uh, you know the fragrance that everybody is talking about. Every it's on everybody everybody's list. It's on every damn TikTok out there. It's crazy, and that fragrance is Afnan's 9 p.m. So in this video, I'll talk about its performance, how it smells, what is it a clone of, and is it worth it? So, talking about the fragrance. First of all, holy shit, this bottle is freaking heavy. Like damn like I have designer fragrances that are triple the price of this and it's not as heavy as this it's insane I would say the main reason why this is heavy is the cap wait let me just show it to you Oops. that's super heavy oh my god oh my god why did i close it i had to spray it to show you how it smells it's a heavy cap it's metal i don't know if it's like pure metal or an alloy i don't care it's freaking heavy right now let's talk about it's how it smells and what is its performance so let's just i've actually already already have the dry down on my this arm but i'll just show you how the sprayer works pretty good pretty good it's a, as you could tell as you could see or if you couldn't it's a pretty good sprayer like for the price it's really good it throws a lot of throws out a lot of juice right oof i can smell it already let's talk about the performance first so if you go i mean this fragrance is like barely two to three years old and people are already like oh new batches some don't perform better some perform better than others well i bought this fragrance like two months ago so it's a fairly fairly new batch i guess and uh, yeah i get very good performance with them from, from this it's one of my best performers in my collection it's not super beast mode but it's it's amazing it's more than what you could ask for especially for the price this costed me like 28 dollars i got it in the us so 28 dollars from amazon in the us very well priced amazing the cost to performance ratio that even exists is amazing it's so so what does it smell like it's so apparently it's a clone of ultra male which i've owned in the past i had a 75 ml just like this guy this is uh lemal le perform 75 ml it was that big so is it a re good replacement for that for me in the place where i live 100 percent. it's an amazing amazing replacement i don't need ultra male anymore because it's super warm throughout like year round i mean summers get really hot but even in the winters it's not like it's freezing it's cool but uh for you uh, i would for, for, for the weather here i would actually take this over ultra male objectively speaking i don't know I, I wouldn't be sad if i had this and not ultra male i'd still be pretty happy with it so when, it, when I compare this to Ultra Male, Ultra Male is a lot stronger, the pear and the vanilla, it's a lot sweeter. Some people might like it, some might not. I find it alright, but it's very limited to like its use cases in terms of seasons and stuff. This guy, because it's, lo it's a lot lighter it's in terms of the sweetness, it's more 
for there's a lot of focus on the cinnamon on this a lot more cinnamony so it gives off that spice tinge like somewhat like warm spice it's not like sharp and you, you could tell it has that oriental touch because it's middle east tone you could tell a bit but it does not smell that farther away from ultramil like in the air i could not tell them apart like if we, if i didn't spray them side by side or if i spray them side by side without looking in the air i would be like i, I don't know <laughs> which one's ultramil which one's 9 pm it's that good like of course if i smell it side by side i could like from what i remember it's a lot lighter but it still performs really well the projection is crazy it performs for like seven to eight hours in this warm and humid weather in june and uh, yeah, yeah the projection is like one and a half hours so it's pretty fantastic when it comes for that and so for the price performance how it smells i would say it's worth the hype that it's getting right now it's so freaking good like i get it why everyone's talking about it so and also i got lemal lip performs so i don't think so i need ultra meal anymore uh, i have i have enough lemal right now so i'm good i'm not i'm not gonna get ultra meal anytime soon i got this guy this guy is good enough for me and you could see i have used quite a bit in the past two months even though i have like 30 fragrances or so I still use this a lot like whenever I'm going out at night that's my fragrance of choice it's that good so I would give this fragrance like an 8 out of 10 highly recommended if you're looking for a clone fragrance to buy that's high quality good packaging smells great a pretty good performance and smells mass appealing for the most part like if you're looking out for Middle Eastern fragrances randomly and you blind by a Middle Eastern fragrance you might hate it because they are so exotic and you know some of the spices and things like that so you might actually not like it but this even though it's Middle Eastern is super mass appealing I would 100% recommend it if you want to go for a clone fragrance and you don't know which one to buy get that it's a very good fragrance and uh, anyways that's the video uh, that's all I had to talk say about this fragrance and uh, I don't give a damn about the <laughs> A uh, note breakdown because it smells so freaking identical to ultra male. There is no point. Like it might say it has different uh, notes. Like from what I remember, the top note is apple and not pear. But come on, they're almost the same fruit when it comes to fragrances. They don't smell that different. Like again, if it's green apple, like why it sells why, then it's different. But if it's just apple, like the regular apple and pear, even when you eat the fruit, it's other than the texture, the taste, the taste profile is very similar. It's the same thing with this. I don't see a lot of difference. A clone, it's ninety percent accurate. So the note breakdown doesn't matter. It's the same as Ultra Male. I'm pretty sure. So, anyways, that's the video. I hope you like my review. And I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading. I'm really bad, but you know, life happens, and uh, I'm gonna focus on uploading a lot more now. So either a review on this is coming a list might be coming i'm not gonna tell you but if you want to let me know what kind of content you want me to make let me know down in the comments and sh tell me your thoughts on this fragrance i would love to hear it let's let's talk